Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. We have our friend and confidence coach in the house today. It's Lyra Springer. Lyra. Oh, hello. Great to see you. <laughs> Good to see you. And too. I love your bright colors. I was going to say, happy. and the red lipstick. That is Thank you. fantastic. You're popping. You just need poppin'. to be bright. Yes. Right? Okay. Especially when you're ready for spring. And do you feel Absolutely. confident when you wear both colors? Are you feeling confident? I do. I do. Our confidence coach. <laughs> I do. Now, sometimes when I'm on, I talk about confidence as it pertains to skincare. Right. Sometimes I talk about confidence as it pertains to us being confident in our own skin right. as right. a human being. And so that's what I'm talking about today. But really quickly, before I talk about that, I want to announce that I have a brand new updated online skin confidence class that's coming out. It's Ooh. in, it's been revamped with all new information. Mm -hmm. It's in the animation stage right now, and it will be out by the end of the month. So everyone, jump on to skinconfidencecoach.com and get registered for that free class. You won't want to miss all of the free information. Free class. Free. I, I like free. free class. I like that word. Yes. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to jump right into our topic of the day, okay. which is fear and anxiety. Oh, we don't know anything about that. Yeah, right? Yeah. This is a super common issue. So yeah. many people deal mm -hmm. with crippling fear and anxiety. Yeah. And if you're really dealing with this, I think a lot of people are stuck in this cycle mm -hmm. of fear and anxiety that keeps going on that they don't even remember what it truly feels like to be on the other side of it anymore. True, yeah. True. You well, know? I totally agree with yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, and there are two things that amplify that even more. Electricity and the global news cycle. <gasps> Oh, that's so great. Wow. Okay. Let's talk about that. We can flip the lights on and stay up all night long if we want to. That's true. Really? That's, yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. So, you, there's never a time that the fear and anxiety has to shut off. That's true. And global news cycle, 24 hours a day. We can be updated, not only with, you know, global crisis around the world, mm -hmm. but that news cycle in our social media news right. feed right. going on that's, that's, that's you know, it goes 24 hours a day. Yeah, it it's does. up to you to turn it off. And it's up to you to turn your brain off mm -hmm. so that you don't engage in those things all the time. And would, does that affect sleep? Oh my goodness, oh, yeah. yes. So right before you go to sleep at night, if you're dealing with fear and anxiety, mm -hmm. where's your brain right before you go to sleep at night? Where's mm -hmm. your brain when you wake up in the morning? Right. And even sometimes if you're having a conversation with somebody, you're physically present but your mind is somewhere mm -hmm. else. Is somewhere else. Yeah. Your mind is somewhere else. Where is it during that time? Right. You know? I see, that's my problem. I have trouble turning my brain off mm -hmm. going to sleep. Mm -hmm. Or, like I was telling Kelly this morning, yes. what did I just tell yeah, you this exactly, morning? That he I said four hours. Four hours solid, and after four hours, I was wake and it was tossing and turning and just mm -hmm. thinking about thinking. things. Thinking. Yes. Thinking. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And fe fear is vision without hope. You're right. seeing into the future, but only seeing the worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. Fear can ruin relationships. Yes, it can. You know, it ruins. Mm -hmm. the, imagine like uh, an emotional migraine. So when you have a migraine, you drop a pin and it sounds like a gunshot. Right. Yes. When you're in that state, something small in mm -hmm. your relationships can happen and it feels like a huge deal. So you react like it's a huge deal, even though it's not. And that can happen all across the board. If you're feeling those fear and anxieties, wherever it is in your life, it crosses the gamut to all relationships, mm -hmm. you know? Yes, right. all relationships. And it, 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 what happens is it exhausts the people around you. Yeah. True. And it, it makes us selfish. Really, it becomes all about us. Like, look at my problem. I am going through this. Stop and help me get through this. Right. When in reality, people around us are going through their own issues too right. that they need help with. You know, right. mm -hmm. but we don't see that because we're so focused on ourselves, and it makes us selfish. Very true. And I love the saying. I don't know who said it, but I remember somebody saying, "Like nobody's thinking about you more than you." That's right. Yes. So if you're at home stressing mm -hmm. about what something that happened at work, or maybe mm -hmm. I said something to Kelly, I'm like, mm -hmm. "Oh, I shouldn't have said that to Kelly." Yeah. Yes. And I'm stressing. She's probably not even thinking about that. She's worrying about something else that happened to her that day. Yes. How many times have somebody said that? Uh, I had someone call me up the other day. And said, "Oh my goodness, I said this. I'm sorry." I'm like. It didn't affect me at all. I, right, I, yeah. I, I didn't even right. think about it. You're just replaying those yeah. conversations mm -hmm. all the time. So right. what do we do about it? Yeah, what can we so, do? So many times people say that there are good seasons and bad seasons of life, and if you're in a bad season, just push through it and so you can get onto the other side of it. Mm -hmm. But this isn't really true. Mm -hmm. There are good and bad things going on all of the time. Simultaneously. Simultaneously. Yeah. So imagine a train track. There are two rails, okay. mm -hmm. good and bad. They're running parallel. Mm -hmm. Off into the distance. It's like our life. There's, they're running parallel, good and bad, all of the time. So what do you do? You've got to choose to focus on the, the good. good. Mm -hmm. You have to actively choose it. And if you think the good's not there, it's because you're actively focused on the bad. That's true. You know, oh. you've got to, you've got to focus on the good. But then take it a step further. 
once you recognize that good, you've got to choose to take a moment, take a breath, and be thankful for that good. That's true. You know, I think thankfulness people, changes I, everything. Some people don't realize. They look at someone else's life and they think, oh, they've got everything happening. Mm -hmm. What you don't know is that you don't know what's happening. Yeah. They, everybody's got the good and the bad. Yes. Everybody. Yes, everybody, no matter what. And social media makes us think right. it's all good right. on top yeah. of yeah. people. Because yeah. a lot of people just post the good stuff. Exactly, yeah. of course, of course. Right. And so you've got to see it, you've got to be thankful for it. But just because you're choosing to be thankful for it, those bad things are still happening. Yes. Yeah. Realistically, you can't just put your head in the sand and pretend like, oh, go away, it's not there. It's good. bad things are still going to happen. Yeah. And so that's where you need to replace that worry. Worry doesn't get us anywhere. You know, it's okay to be upset of a bad thing, but worry doesn't get you anywhere. Replace that worry with prayer. Be positive. Pray. Be positive. I'm pr mm -hmm. I love it. You got to pray. And thankfulness mm -hmm. is a key. Yes. Lyra, oh, thank yes. you so we much. We love you, Lyra. I'm thank less you. anxious right now because yes. of you. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. All right. Coming up a bit later, we're dishing it with another real time recipe. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Look, I'm look, hungry. My shoulders are already lower, see, because I'm less stressed. Yes.